Well, greetings. It's the weekend and this is your update and the school year has ended. At least it has for uh, my local school district and if it hasn't for yours yet, it's just about to probably this week. And that means it's time to start practicing this summer. You've made so many gains throughout the school year as a musician and just developing your skills. Don't let them go to waste. Keep practicing over the summer. Over on the Boomer YouTube channel this week, we released another one of our shorts from the session that we did down at CU uh, with the, the SE Shires company. And in this one, Matt Nishida talks about bell bends, square versus round, and what effect that can have on how the instrument feels and your perception of that. Uh, check out that short to see what I'm talking about. Square bell bend here. Um, and you'll notice that on this trumpet, it's rounded. So you said it feels more open, right? And a lot of you kind of What's interesting is that a square bell bend creates, for lack of a better word, certain choke points in the horn. It's different points of resistance in the instrument for the player to like lean into and feel comfortable. A lot of times we think that the biggest, most open equipment is what you want. And I think that's, that's kind of, that myth is being dispelled more and more. Really what you're looking for is efficiency, right? And I think that's what you found in the second trumpet is because of the square bell bend combined with the French B, finding them to be more efficient. A square bell bend really helps with that. And so the SC Shires company is doing some really cool stuff, as you can see from that video. Uh, but also they have come out with a new line of instruments, uh, their A series. And these are trumpets and trombones that are uh, student level instruments, but they're in the Shires environment. And I've gotten to try them and they're fantastic. We're gonna have a bunch of these in our rental fleet come this fall. So be on the lookout for those, come in, try them out. Uh, let us know what you think. I already know what I think about them. Uh, great instruments at a great price and it can get you into that Shires uh, track at an early age. Uh, so take a look at them. You will not be disappointed. Then over on the view from the road this week, it's a wrap. This is the, the school year, like I said, has ended and it gave me a chance to look back on a couple of different things. So check out a clip from that video to see what I'm talking about. Reflecting upon a couple of things, one is uh, performances that just happened. I always say that a performance is not the accomplishment, it's a celebration of the accomplishment, which is learning the music and developing the skill and preparing for the performance. And when a performance falls short of that, it's a great learning experience to you know, better gauge how you can prepare for that. So whether the concert went the way that you wanted it to or whether it was a great learning experience, like, there's always a takeaway from that. So I hope uh, everyone that performed uh, looks at it as a positive experience because getting up there and performing in the first place is just an amazing feat. And that thought really dovetails nicely into this week's essay over on the Podcasting Store Medium page. And this talks about uh, Timothy transferred to a new school just after spring break, and he's had a little bit of trouble fitting in. Well, he came home with a permission slip to be in the talent show at his school, and he was just dying to do it as a way to kind of touch those kids that he hadn't been able to really make a connection with. And uh, he played a drum beat at that, and I will spoil the ending of it. It went fantastic. He was able to through music uh, communicate individually with every single kid in that crowded gymnasium so uh, music is an amazing thing it, it speaks words that uh, we can't with our voices check out that essay uh, to see because it was really a great experience and he did such a good job so good job Timothy very proud of you that is your weekend update. Now, this is also Memorial Day weekend, so take some time amidst uh, enjoying the official start of summer to remember those who lost their lives in the service of our uh, country. Uh, comment below, let me know what you think, like, share, and subscribe, and we will catch up with you next time. If you enjoyed the weekend update, do me a favor and follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channels, or visit our websites. This is Drew with Boomer Music Company and thepodcastingstore.com. Thanks for listening.